If it sounds good, then we don't have a problem. But if it doesn't sound good, we need to know which frequency doesn't sound good. And from the meter, we can look at it and see that it's excessive there. And then we can fix that. My name is Maor Applebaum. I'm a mastering engineer and the owner of Maor Applebaum Mastering in Los Angeles. I worked with bands such as Faith No More, ES, Meatloaf, Walter Trout, William Shatner, and more. I always listen to what I do. That's the most important. You gotta really listen and figure out what you're hearing there um, because it, there's a, also a taste factor. So it's not just numbers and visualization of it, but it's also what you like hearing. But in addition to that, I do look at meters. First of all, I'm looking at the normal peaks and, and just to see the values. And then after I know where I am, if I feel there is a problem, I'll go and try to see on, on the um, FFT, which is the RTA here. I'll just look at the frequency that is leveled up. And I'll see, okay, I do have a lot of this frequency and this. Do I hear it on the speaker system in a bad way or not? And if I hear it in a bad way, then I'll know which one it is or the accumulation of them, but at least I'll know the two fundamental ones that are taking, uh, taking most of the heat, what I call. The cool thing about the Clarity M is that you have the possibility to work stereo or surround, and you can change uh, what you have on the screen if you want to have a surround or a stereo. So you're not occupying the screen with dedicated meters that are not in use. So it does give you the benefit. Plus, you can always take this with you to another place. Having the radar also helps you uh, notice how changes occur in the actual song. So you can actually see if there's any uh, rises and falls in dynamics. Uh, having the real-time analyzer is a cool feature in case there are certain frequencies that jump up and you want to make sure it's them and not fix a different area. If you're tracking or mixing, you can always solo an instrument and look at the graph and see if there's a resonant frequency. When everything sounds good, then there's no problem. It's when there is a problem and you're trying to hone on it, then a meter can really help you. <laughs>